All right, going to do a video of scripturally refuting and destroying the heresy of antinomianism. The antinomian heresy is a false doctrine that there is no standard or conduct of holiness that God expects of the saints after they get saved. And that, you know, you should live holy, but, you know, you can just do whatever you want. And, you know, there's, no, there's going to be no chasing of God. There's going to be no conviction from the Holy Spirit. And that's how you get these heretics like Jack Smack 7 7 who will play games like GTA 5 and actually post clips of him playing those games with satanic, you know, death metal music in the background and trying to justify it. See, he is the end result of antinomianism right there. This lawless life you got to live, you know, that you basically, you, you basically, if you do preach holiness, then you're basically just backloading works, essentially. That's what it comes down to. So first of all, let's go through some scriptures refuting this, this, uh, serious heresy of antinomianism. First of all, the scriptures tr clearly show that grace is not a license to sin. Romans chapter 6, verse 1 to 2. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Romans chapter 6, verse 15. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. But to see if we were to read the Jack Smack 666 version of this verse, it would say, you know, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? You know, why not? Go right ahead. You know, go play your violent, you know, uh, video games. Go listen to your satanic death metal and just don't expect any kind of chastening or conviction from the Holy Ghost if you're truly saved doing it. Of course, Jack Smack 7 7 is not saved one bit. He's lost. That's when you get down to it. Uh, also, the point is the fact of the matter is that these guys will justify all manner of wickedness, and if you call them out, they will accuse you of backloading works. So let's say you're, you're teaching work salvation. You know, it's just that simple. They equate holy living. You know, after your salvation, they, they quit the post-salvation changed life to preaching work salvation. Even though guys like me explicitly said that it's not to be saved or to stay saved, it's after your salvation. And a Christian can still sin. They can still struggle with sin. But they're not going to feel good doing it, and they're definitely not going to go without chastening from God. And by the way, where is the chastening of God in Jack Smack 666? He doesn't have it. Why? Because he's lost. He's not a child of God. Next point is that liberty is not to be used for an occasion to the flesh. Galatians chapter 5, verse 13. See, so you do have liberty in the New Testament, but it's not to be used like Jack Smack 7 7 uses it to play violent, wicked video games like GTA 5. Galatians 5 13. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty, only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. But again, if we were to read the Jack Smack 666 version of that verse, it would say, you know, yes, actually do use your liberty for an occasion to the flesh and accuse anybody who disagrees with you of work salvation. Next point is that the antinomians twist and pervert the grace of God into lasciviousness. Jude chapter 1 verse 4. This is a quick video listing off a few scriptures on the matter. I could, I could do a whole in-depth video refuting this heresy, but these are just a quick few verses off the top of my head that... Uh, destroy this heresy. Jude chapter 1 verse 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. And 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 18 down to verse 19. 2 Peter 2 verse 18 to 19. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lusts of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean escape from them who live in error. And while they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. You know, they promise you liberty, but then they're the servants of corruption. They're the servants of listening to the satanic death metal and playing violent games like GTA that glorify street crime, uh, alcoholism, drugs, nudity, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Profanity. Yeah. How do I know that? Because I used to play GTA 5. I used to know what, like, I know what that game is like. I played it when I was lost. And that game is not anything that, that a Christian ought to be even setting their eyes upon. You know? But you got Jack Smack 666 who not only plays it, but uploads videos of him playing the game to his Christian YouTube channel. That's the fruit of antinomianism right there. And not just that, but blast satanic death metal music in the background of those videos. So just a couple of scriptures uh, to list off that refute and destroy this antinomian heresy, this doctrine of devils of antinomianism. You know, I need to point something else too. Not every easy believist is an antinomian, but virtually every antinomian is also uh, a follower of the easy believism heresy. Because there are some easy believists who have, you know, rebuked Jack Smack 7-7. You know, and to their credit, I, I would, you know, agree with them on that. But uh, antinomianism is the end result of this easy believism heresy. 
So anyway, don't be deceived by antino antinomianism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.